is fun. Fun. Phonics is fun. Hey, how are you doing today? Let's do a feelings check. How are you feeling? Are you feeling like this today? I hope not, but if you are, it's your feeling. And we need to talk about it. How about this? Are you feeling like this today? And if you are, what is causing you to feel like that today? Or are you feeling like this? And if yes, what is causing that feeling? Mm, are you feeling like this? What is causing you to feel like this? If that is how you're feeling. If you're having any of those feelings that I've just shown, speak with an adult, okay? Are you feeling like this? It's phonics time. Mm, we should be feeling like this. And if you're not, come along. By the time we're done, you will be feeling happy. So we can all say, if you're happy and you know it, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, say amen. All right, so guess what? Today, we're going to be talking about a suffix. Now, a suffix is a letter or more than one letters that we put to the end of a word. Now, today's suffix is, are you ready for it? Come along. Let's write our suffix on the board today. That is our suffix for today, full. Now, when this is written, or when we write our suffixes, we tend to put a mark right here because this is a natural suffix that you will know it's going to the end of, of a word. But there are some, like ing, that could be a part of a root word. So we normally use this line here, we could call it an hyphen, to show that the letters are intended to be used or understood as um, a suffix. So we are looking at the suffix full today. So mm -hmm. we could probably start with this. When we're happy, there's a certain feeling that we have. We are, let us write that word. We are experiencing joy. We are experiencing joy when we are happy. And so if we're gonna be adding a suffix to joy, we need to find out where is the front and where is the back. Where is it? So this is front before and this is the back after. So we need to place our suffix at the end of joy, the root word joy. So now our new word is joyful. Now what is the meaning of the suffix full? The suffix full means full of. What it means? Full of. So this cup, if we're feeling like this, our feeling is not down here, neither here, it is all the way up, up here. We are full of joy. Joyful means that we are full of joy. All right, so full means full of, right? So full means full of. Full, the suffix full means full of. All right, so let's go. Let's take it up now, let's go. So probably, we can do a concept map. Let's get our concept map up. So we could have a circle here. And in that circle, we are going to maintain our suffix red. So let's have full. In the circle, yes, this is a circle. And we are now going to find words, root words, that we could add full to the end. So we started already with joy. So we're not going to use joy. What are some other words that we could use um, instead of joy? Are you going to give me one? The first one we're going to take is fear. No wonder the Bible says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, fear not for I am with you always. Fear not. Okay, so fear. When we add full to fear, what do we get? Let's go. Fear full. Let's say this again. Fear full. Can you come up with a word or many words that we can use? Because guess what? We need to fill all of these circles. So we have joyful over there. You know what? Let us add our joy. 
It is a word. Joy. Okay? Joy. And guess what? What about this lesson is? Can it hold? Meaning? Meaningful. Let's go. Fearful. Joyful. Meaningful. And maybe the meal you had earlier was absolutely B E L I G H T. It could have been pretty delightful. Can you come up with any more? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I hope that this lesson is very useful. I am waiting. Wow, well, I need one of yours. What are you going to give me? When we are holding a knife, we should be, we should exercise a lot of care. So we should be careful. And some things, the knife, why we're going to exercise a lot of care is because it can be harmful. So we have completed all our circles. Now, let us write our words and let us also give the meaning of the words that we have created. So let's go full means full of, full, F-U-L, full. All right, and we have these words here, fear, joy, joy, remember our O-Y says oi, joy, meaning, meaning. So remember how to pronounce this word. The first vowel is long, the second one is silent, and that's our root word, mean, we added the suffix I-N-G. Here we have delight, and in delight, we have this special sound here, I-G-H, that says I, I, delight, use, care, and harm, harm. Okay, so let's make our words. Are we ready to make our words? So we have joyful, let us get the blue marker and let's write the rest. So the first word is fear, F-E-A-R, spell with me, then joy, J-O-Y, then meaning, M-E-A-N-I-N-G, then we have delight, D-E-L-I-G-H-T, then we have use, and we have care, and finally, we have harm. Okay, so let us add our suffix to the word, or to the word. So, care, full, joy, full, meaning, full, delight, full, use, full, care, full, harm, full. Let's read our words one more time. Fear, full, joy, full, meaning, full, delight, full, useful and we not and yet careful and harmful great now let us go through our words again and give the meaning of each word fearful means full of fear joyful means full of joy meaningful means full of meaning delightful means Full of delight. Useful means full of use. Careful means full of care. Harmful means full of harm. Full of harm. Let's go through our words one more time. Let's read from the concept map. Fearful, joyful, meaningful, delightful, useful, careful, harmful wonderful so you should wonderful did you hear that one wonder and full full of wonder hope full full of hope how many were how many more words can you find we can find so many words duty dutiful i want to show you something about duty so let's take off the concept map and you have all those words over there, so we can remove our concept map as I show you something. So we just mentioned duty. Blue for that. Duty. D-U-T-Y. That's duty. There's another one that we love. B-U-D. 
B E A U T Y. B E A U T Y. Beauty. We can add full to these words, but listen to this rule that we must remember. When we are going to be adding full to these words, we are going to change the Y to I and add full. So it looks like this B U T I. And then we add our F U L. The same for beauty. Let's go. B E a U T, change the Y to I, then we are going to add full. Can you think of any more words like these where they end with a Y? And remember, it's with a Y that comes after a consonant. If the Y comes after a vowel, no, we're not going to change the Y to I. Okay, so we change the Y to I in words like duty, beauty, and then we add. F U L. I hope that you have learned these words and that you'll be able to use them in sentences. You'll be able to now add them to your daily vocabulary when you're speaking. You'll be able to use these words. And I'm going to uh, encourage you go ahead and find 10 more words that you can add full to and tell your parents or your friends the meanings of these words. Thank you so much for being a part of this class and as per usual, we are rebuilding the walls of literacy. You will be great. You will be an awesome reader. As a matter of fact, I want you to understand that greatness is within you. And all we're doing, we're pulling it out as we build letter by letter, word by word, sentence by sentence, paragraph by paragraph, concept by concept. God bless you. Remember, you are loved. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say to you today that you are wonderful. God, you are full of wonder. And Lord, we are so hopeful because Lord, we know that you have an expected end for us. And we are just so excited to grow into fulfilling our destiny and your purpose here. Lord, bless these learners. Grant them wisdom and keep them safe until we come again for another lesson. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. See you soon.